You know, I've not, I've not been politically active until this election. And the reason I've been politically active this election is because I think if we don't, if we don't elect Trump, I think we, I think we will lose, uh, we will, act, we will lose democracy in this country. We will, we will lose the two-party system. Um, and I, I, let me explain why. So, there's, there's only like six, six or seven swing states. The, the, the margin of victory in those states is small, often like ten or twenty thousand votes. Um, what the, the Democrat administration has been doing is importing vast numbers of illegals into swing states. Um, you can look at the numbers on the actual government uh, website, meaning you don't take my word for it. You'll just look, look at the numbers as reported by the government, which is controlled by the Democrats. It's going to vote blue. And then, and then once the swing states vote blue, the, the, there, there is no election anymore. It's, there's only a Democrat primary. Which is so crazy. And it's so, so crazy so that, that people are fine with that. If, and if you want to see, like, well, is this actually going to happen? Look at California. California is supermajority Dem, 70% Dem. Uh, a month ago, they passed a law making it illegal to show ID in any election in California. So, you, so, so a friend of mine went to vote uh, in, in, um, in Palo Alto because he was like, is this for real? He tried to show his ID, and they, they, they reacted like, a, like, like, like if you show a cross to a vampire. Okay. <laughs> They're like, no, we can't even look at that ID. It's, it is illegal for them to even look at your ID if you want to present it in California. Why? For any election at all, even like city council. What logical reason other than cheat would you ever have that law? The reason is to cheat. That's, but the only, it's only like you can never make an argument. Any other way, and I think eighty-four yeah. percent of people polled believe that you should show ID to vote. This is the last chance. Has anybody tried and to I push just back? Like, go out and vote. Vote like your life depends on it. Vote like your future depends on it, because it does. So you, you Fly people in. They're literally being flown in. Yeah. To the swing states, and the, the, the so the reason that, that I think left doesn't want to uh, push back on this is because the more tension they get that this gets. The more people will realize it is true. Yeah, it is true. That's why they don't. That, that's why they don't, they're, they're just pretending. That they're pretending I'm not saying anything. But I'm like, I'm like, yo, the, 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 you're lit they're literally flying vast numbers of illegals who are then beholden to the Democrats. And and sometimes I get the rebuttal of people who say like, well, you know, the, the these um, uh, illegals are they, they don't have the same social values as the Democrat Party because they're like more socially conservative. I'm like, yeah, but that's that's not the point. The the, the, if you look at the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the, their, their, their primary thing is, is staying in the country and getting their friends and family in, and then the Democrats give them all these benefits, like, like tons of benefits, more benefits than, if you, than, than citizens, literally. Yeah. Um, so so, that, so you're, they're beholden to the Democrats for all these benefits. Um, they want to get their friends and family in, which the Democrats support and the Republicans don't, so they vote Dem. And you can look empirically at California and say, like, did, did, they, did they vote Republican or Democrat in California? Oh, they voted Democrat. Big time. Well,